In the north of Germany, dredging and marine contractor Van Ord was building the Aeolus, a mighty jack-up ship designed for installing offshore wind farms. Equipped with four 85-meter legs that can be lowered onto the seabed, the Aeolus can be raised above the water to create a stable platform. In order to evenly distribute the ship's weight on the ocean floor, the legs are fitted with so-called spud cans. The installation of those spud cans is typically carried out in expensive dry docks. Building ships in dry docks is also time-consuming. And with a rapidly approaching operational deadline and a delayed construction schedule, time was the only thing Von Ord did not have. So they turned to Mammut. With just three weeks to complete the installation, we proposed to do the job while the Aeolus was in the water, right on the narrow quayside at the yard of Lloyd Werft in Bremerhaven, where it was moored for final construction work. This is where our LR-13000 came in, the world's largest crawler crane. Compact enough to fit on the narrow key, yet powerful and high enough to raise the 920-ton legs over the Aeolus. One by one, we lifted the 85-meter-long legs into a vertical position and lowered them through the Aeolus with surgical precision. To meet with the spud cans we had positioned on the seabed below the ship. Divers then connected the legs to the spud cans with cables running through the legs before we pulled them up towards the ship. By removing the dry dock from the equation, we could safely install the legs and the spud cans in less than three weeks. Once the final topside construction work was completed, the Aeolus set course for the North Sea on schedule to install its first wind turbines. Mammut, the biggest thing we move is time.